Hey guys, and welcome to Daily Scooby News. So I have some rather depressing news about plastic pollution and turtles. Now we all have seen the images of turtles eating plastic bags and it's thought that these were mainly due to turtles mistaking the bag for a tasty jellyfish. Uh, but now scientists have uncovered new evidence that shows that the floating plastic uh, actually could give off similar a similar odor to a turtle's normal food. Yay. Anyway, American researchers believe that this could explain why so many turtles end up eating plastic or get tangled up in discarded nets. So the scientists worked uh, with the 15 young loggerhead turtles that were raised in captivity. Uh, they introduced odors in the air above the water tank uh, and then recorded the turtles' reactions. Uh, the footage, uh, obviously with the camera, sorry. Uh, the footage shows the animals responded to smells from conditioned plastic the same way that they did with food like shrimp or fish. One researcher explained, plastics that have spent time in the ocean become colonized by microbes, algae, plants, and tiny animals, thus developing smells that turtles are attracted to. Uh, this is an evolutionary adaption uh, for finding food, but it has now become a problem for the turtles because they're attracted to the smells from the plastic, along with the fish and even some seabirds. So yeah, we all know the dangers of items like straws and plastic bags to sea turtles in the water. It's very very well known. We've all seen the videos, unfortunate, you know, the, the plastic straw in it is it's horrible. Anyway, but now, you know, we know that plastic can grow bacteria on it. It could lead to turtles just wanting to eat it even more, which is obviously really, really bad. So, you know, this is getting even worse. So yeah, it's not just a case of mistaken identity when it comes to plastic bags in the water. Turtles are actively searching for plastic bags due to the bacteria that lives on it. Ugh. Now, companies are looking at eco-friendly and more recyclable packaging, which is obviously great. This is what we need to do in this world. The problem is, is even if this eco-plastic that biodegrades uh, in months or years, if that makes it into our ocean, the actual same thing is gonna happen. And depending on what the eco-plastic is made from, it could actually harm the turtle even more, which is not very great, like uh, microplastics and stuff like that. Possibly, that's like the worst case scenario. So maybe we need to look further into eco-plastic and maybe look on the micro level science. Um, they might be able to add a filter or something. That means no bacteria could live on it. And that means then that's not going to attract the turtles. I know it sounds like a bit of a long shot, but you never know it could work. Anyway, what do you think about this? Plastic pollution is, of course, a massive problem that isn't going to go anyway anytime soon. So what can be done about it? Do you reckon they could add a filter or some sort of layer on plastic to stop this bacteria from growing to attract the turtles? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. But why actually has it been, why has it taken so long to find these planes? Well, they were shut down and they hit the water at such a high speed that all that was left behind was obviously a scatter of debris. Uh, so yeah, it's not as easy as just picking up a scanner or a blip on sonar and then sending a diver down there, you know, going, oh, that